what's up everyone I'm back with another pickup video happy Halloween to everyone out there if you are planning on going out tonight please try to be safe um, make good decisions alright so jumping right into the shoe uh, today was the official release of the highs and lows a6 gel Light 3 25th anniversary the name for the shoe is the silver screen uh, from what I understand, the shoe is based on a theater that is located right around the highs and lows store. Um, you know, personally, I think the shoe is definitely top four or five in the 25th anniversary collabs. I really like the execution of the shoe. I feel like the materials are definitely on point. The only slight issue that I had with the shoe is the colorway, and I've mentioned this before. Um, I feel like the mint colorway has really been overdone this year after Epitome and the Diamond collab. You had Ubiques, Cool Breeze. I just feel like, you know, there's been way too many mint shoes. And also probably the timing of this shoe is not, um, not ideal just because this is more of a spring-summertime shoe. But it's a good reason to put this shoe on ice and, you know, wait for next spring or summer to wear. Alright, so let's jump right into it. Um, like I said, it is the A6 Gel A3 model. I picked my pair up from Concepts this morning. Shout out to Concepts. One thing that was a little surprising about the shoe that I did not expect was the price point. So this one retailed at $180, which was really nice because a lot of the other ones have been around $200. So I was really happy with the price. Um, the shoe did come with several different lace options. First, you had white flat wax laces with silver aglets. Um, I think I like these the best. I'll see how they look once I put them in the shoe. The second option were these flat wax mint laces. Again, really nice touch. I like the wax laces. They have silver aglets as well. All right, and the third option were the laces that came in the shoe, which were just on normal flat laces. These are not wax, again, with the silver aglets. Alright, so like I said, um, the execution of the shoe, really, really nice. The materials were really nice as well. I'm really happy with the overall quality. I actually just no noticed a slight little flaw in my shoe. Um, no big deal, but as you can see, just this little, um, I don't know, it's just a little material flaw, but no big deal. Shoes are meant to be worn, so a little scuff is um, nothing new. Alright, so um, yeah, A6 Gel A3 model, 25th anniversary, silver screen, a lot of details to this shoe. Uh, like I said, the colorway, not my favorite, but I'll go over everything in detail. So starting off with the midsole, you have an all-white midsole, the translucent outsole, uh, the whole outsole is translucent. Usually you see the heel um, that's translucent, but on this one, the entire thing is translucent, which is a nice touch. So underneath the translucent outsole, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I'm not sure, but I'm thinking that this is supposed to be like popcorn underneath of it. it it's either popcorn or marble or something like that. If I had to guess, I would say it's popcorn because it is a movie theater based theme, um, which if it is, you know, that's definitely a nice touch. All right, so the upper of the shoe, you have several different materials going on, which, you know, I always like. Uh, I felt like the execution was really nice. So on this heel portion here, you have a nice leather material, definitely good quality. Um, as you can see, you have A6 on the back as well as Gel A3 on the side. And on the inside of the side panel here, you have a cracked leather, which is a nice touch. It's something something different uh, you usually don't see that type of material on an ASIC so yeah it's like a cracked leather and I guess it's supposed to be like something um, you know something older that's worn out I guess something in the theater which I'm not too familiar with so I do know that this pattern right here that's on the heel is a design that is on the theater there I believe it's on the walls um, so you have this design going across the heel here on the front portion of the shoe on the toe, you have a really nice suede material. I was a little concerned um, when I saw pictures because I thought that the toe was just going to be a cheaper type of new buck material, kind of similar to what they used on the Koi's with a Fuse collaboration. But surprisingly, uh, the, the quality of the suede is really, really nice. Um, you know, it's not a suede that kind of brushes back and forth, but it, it, you could just touch it and feel that um, it is a great quality suede. So on the toe here, you have a perforated toe box, 
um, just a regular suede going around the toe and you have hits of 3M right here um, on the inside of the shoe or on on the outside of the tongue I should say it is that um, nice suede material it's not really like a long hair suede but it is really really nice um, it's a great quality almost feels like it, it kind of looks like ice cream that's what it reminds me of but um, yeah it's definitely great quality as you can see right here you do have the highs and lows logo I'll try to give you guys a better look at that there you go you have how stitched in oh it's not stitched in it's kind of like um, embossed on um, on the tongue there and the inner liner of the shoe as a lot of the 25th anniversaries have had is that premium leather I love when they do this it just you know it just kind of um, shows a lot of quality in the shoe so you have that real nice leather material so the insole of the shoe is the 25 I'll take them both out so you guys can see um, you have like that movie theme and it's supposed to be 25 for a 25th anniversary you have highs and lows you know always a good touch and on the front of the shoe in the laces it does come with a Dubray again with that design that's based on the movie theater um, like I said the details in the shoe are really nice on this side the ASICS logo is that mint leather material and on the inside portion you have a red or maroon velvet material um, my guess is if I'm not mistaken this is based on curtains that are in the movie theater so if you've ever felt that kind of um, felt or velvet um, curtain material then that's what it is um, same exact material which is like I said a really nice touch all the little details in the shoe kind of um, make the shoe a lot better and I feel like this is definitely worthy of top five so far for the 25th anniversary. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you um, if you pick the shoe up, if you like it. I definitely, um, like I said, I definitely like the shoe. My only issue with it was the the colorway, but um, you know it's not the worst color to have. So I'll probably have these um, on ice until spring or summertime. Who knows? I might rock them. Um, we'll see. But with winter coming, I definitely don't want to wear them too much. All right, so um, next week you have Concepts ASICS Gel Light 5 coming out. So I'm sure a lot of you guys have already seen pictures and the announcement for this release. Um, my first impression when I saw this, when they said it was mix and match, for some reason I thought you'd be able to kind of choose what colors. Um, and, you know, when I thought about it, I was like, wow, that's going to be really crazy because how are they going to you know mix stuff up and you know you'll just have to choose what colors you want they have a really hard time um, you know getting pe people in and out of the store but turns out I was um, I was wrong so it's basically four colors and you would have to buy four colors if you want if you want to mix and match or you can buy two you can buy whatever you want you could just stick with one color um, you know, that has its ups and downs. Uh, I do think it's an original idea, but I'm not, you know, too happy. I, I don't really want to buy four pairs of shoes. I love the price point. It's $130. Um, I feel like, you know, that that's definitely a great price on that shoe. I'm kind of waiting to see what the materials are going to look like in hand. Just because for $130, you usually, usually don't expect great materials. But so far in the pictures, it, it definitely looks like um, a decent shoe. What I might try to do is see if anyone else in line is getting a size 12, try to maybe work out an arrangement where, you know, that person gets one color, I get another color, and we'll mix and match. I kind of like the teal and purple, or maybe the teal and red, um, I'll see. But I know they said that two of the colors are more limited than the other two, so um, I'm guessing that would probably be teal and purple, but I have no idea. Alright, so yeah, you have that next week. You also have the Soulbox Diodora. Um, I've been wanting the shoe ever since I first saw pictures about a month ago. I think that, you know, a Soulbox Diodora is definitely on point. The materials look like they're amazing. It has that really nice soft leather on it. Uh, the colorway is definitely great on it. I'm definitely going to try to pick it up. But it might be tough just because I don't think they're releasing in the States. So my only option would be to try to pick them up online through Soulbox. So that's going to be interesting. I'll see how that goes. 
Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find the Castellers, uh, Castellers Diodora that I was looking for. Um, I know that a lot of people said the release date was supposed to be the 30th. I wasn't able to find anything. I don't think any of the boutiques or the local boutiques around here received them. I don't know if any of them did in the United States. So I'm not sure what's going on with that, but that's something I definitely still have, um, you know, I'm keeping an eye out for. Alright guys, um, stay tuned for more videos. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of the shoe. Let me know if there's anything on your radar um, that you're planning on picking up or anything else you'd like me to discuss or um, talk about in the video. Alright guys, thanks. Peace. Probably would have been cheaper just to fucking kill it. Half a meal, duffel shit.